I call Jamie Lee Ross. Speaker, I don't think we need to ask this Parliament about um, the tax policies that this government has. In fact, the New Zealand public passed judgment on that member and his R&D tax credit policies and his policy proposals in 2014. And how did that go for him? Not very well. In fact, Mr Speaker, so poorly, even Tim Grosser beat him in the party vote in New Lynn and he was out of the country most of the time. So, Mr Speaker, David Cunliffe isn't one to stand up and lecture on R&D policy because, Mr Speaker, his policies were soundly rejected by the public. Mr Speaker, I'm pleased to be supporting this bill as other members on this side of the House are. Mr Speaker, it is a bill which implements the tax rates and tax policy which funds the New Zealand Government. A New Zealand Government which is delivering better public services for New Zealanders, a, a, tax, a, a policy programme that is delivering higher wages for New Zealanders, it's delivering lower unemployment rates in this country. Mr Speaker, it's a programme and a policy programme funded by these income tax rates Mr Speaker, which is leading to more social housing being provided for New Zealanders, it's leading to better health policy being provided for New Zealanders, it's leading to better education outcomes for New Zealand children, and I'm proud of that as other members of this House are. Mr Speaker, I've, I've sat on select committees for a couple of weeks now with Mr uh, Fletcher Tabito. I see he was speaking earlier uh, in the debate. I, I've sat on a few select committees with him where he's talked a lot about the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Trade. He seems to seriously dislike them. I'm raising this, Mr Speaker, because under Clause 65, the income tax rates are set, and those taxes go on to fund policy advice the government uh, receives. Mr Speaker, MFAT does a phenomenal job in providing good quality advice to the government. They have provided advice to the government around the Trans-Pacific Partnership, order, order, which shows order, huge order, order, growth no, for New Zealand. No, Mr we're Speaker, not, we're not that. that member, Mr Tabuto, has good deliberately try. attacked on a number of times the policy advice that is funded by this bill. And, Mr Speaker, I, I actually want to outline for the House that the tax rates that go on to fund that advice should not be attacked by that member, because, as, as we've seen when MFAT has provided advice before around trade policy order, and order. around free trade no, agreements, no, no, no. their Come advice back. has actually been exceeded considerably by the outcomes. Mr Speaker, with that, I just wanted to br touchly, uh, briefly touch on that point. I'm pleased that you've allowed me to do that very briefly, yeah. uh, Mr Speaker. And I'll just simply say to the House, so we can move on, that this is a good bill which allows the New Zealand Government to carry on with the policy proposals it's putting forward, which is leading to greater growth, better outcomes for New Zealanders, better public services, and we support that.